everybody welcome to the Desuda Brown channel and this is a house I call uh, Summer Breeze It's for the life simmer uh, entry cup thing that she's got going where you can um, win prizes from the Sims 3 store anyway I uh, just want to talk about the house real quick um, this house was originally on a 25 by 25 lot but I'd moved it to a 30 by 30 for the sake of gardening and whatnot it has the two bedrooms and one bathroom of course kitchen dining area and living room anyway right now what we're doing is just gonna fly around the outside of the house and show you guys a quick look of what the house looks like in the backyard and all around and whatnot if you guys want to download the house it will be on the exchange I'll have the link in the description as usual with all my other links like Twitter and Facebook, even Tumblr and all that good stuff over there. Um, actually, do I have a website, but I haven't attended to it in so long, so it's it's probably not worth looking at. Just saying. Anyway, right now we're going to head inside the house to the first floor, and the first thing we're going to see is the small living area. It's got just a television and the couch and one of the chairs. It's also got a small pet area out here, so if you have like a cat they're set up for a cat obviously but um right now we're just going to go into the bathroom this is the only bathroom on in the house it's small it's just got the basic stuff in it well actually you know what now i think about it, it's not the only one the master bedroom has the bathroom sorry it's two bathrooms in this house anyway but as you can see it's, it's bluish and what we're going to do now is going to go into the kitchen i ended up having so much trouble in this kitchen with like color schemes and stuff so if you guys download the house and want to change it up, I understand. Anyway, I do like the view out the back. That way you can see the uh, water and the pool and whatnot. Other than that, it's, it's alright. It's, you know, it's the kitchen. Um, then we go back out and around. And we're going to go to the laundry room, which is really small. It's just a two-by-two two room. It's got the washer and the dryer, and that's it. So now we're going to go upstairs and... Then we're going to see what it looks like up here. So now we're going onto the balcony up here. Only thing that's really on here is one of the love seats that you can buy from the Sims 3 store. It's also got a Terrence up there, as you see, and just a telescope. So after that, we just go inside and we're going to go into the master bedroom. This room I really like because it has the extra high ceiling, it's uh, actually two floor on top of the regular one of course it's been split floor and whatnot it's just ba the basics of the room anyway it's just the bed and the dresser and television and as you can see an extremely small balcony and also like I said before I forgot actually the um bathroom as you see it's just basic you know bathtub shower toilet all the stuff you're gonna need for a bathroom so after this room we're gonna go to the last room in the house and that is the kids room and I actually like this room a lot because it reminds me of my own except for the floors I have a beige carpet in my room and pretty much everything else is the same my, my desk is black my bed is pretty much black and television and the rest of it and I really like this room I don't have really that many posters actually about seven posters in here so actually I did do have that many posters it's kind of weird Anyway, that is it for this house. We're just going to go back downstairs and actually what we're going to do, we're going to look around the back of the house. It's so, you know, it's a bit closer to it anyway, instead of just flying around. It's always nice to see every once in a while what your Sims actually see. So we're just going to go back here and as you can see, there's a gigantic tree in the way that I probably should have moved back just a little bit. But um, anyway, we have the big pool, the little lounge area. You can see the garden over there. And it's right close to the beach, so I'd love to stay in this house. And of course, you get the little kids' areas, you know, just the playground and whatnot. So, if you want to change the house around, you can actually put a bunk bed, I would recommend, in the kids' room. That way, you can have four Sims in this house. But anyway, um, I'd like you guys to subscribe to this channel if you like the video. If you want to uh, hit that like button, it'd be doing me a huge favor. And, um,. I'm glad you watched this video if you enjoyed it. You know, like I said, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.